After drawing editorial cartoons for 20 years, Michael DeAdder suggests he simply draws what comes out. But after posting this cartoon on his Twitter feed last week, DeAdder was dumped by one of his main customers, Brunswick News, the newspaper chain owned by New Brunswick's powerful Irving family. I do think it was the straw that broke the camel's back. By any standard, the sketch is powerful. It shows U.S. President Donald Trump golfing in the path of two dead migrants, asking them, do you mind if I play through? A reference to a father and daughter who died at the border between Mexico and the U.S. I got a call from uh, my editor and said, um, we no longer want your services. And I asked why, and they didn't provide a reason. After a few days of reflection, the longtime freelancer thinks he knows why. They're poised to become one of the biggest, if they're not already, one of the biggest oil distributors on the East Coast. And a lot of this depends on uh, a president that's a little bit unstable, who their political cartoonist has been uh, mocking and, 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 and making fun of since uh, he was elected. He notes New Brunswick News axed cartoons he made that were critical of current New Brunswick Premier Blaine Higgs, a progressive conservative and former Irving executive. But they accepted cartoons that were critical of the former Liberal Premier Brian Gallant. In a statement, Brunswick News calls the pro-Trump allegations a false narrative which has emerged carelessly and recklessly on social media. The company suggests it was already planning to replace Deatter, but it did not respond to Global's request for an interview. Analysts hope it's not an example of media corporations interfering with editorial independence. Well, you can't have newspapers serving the interests of publishers. Uh, then they stop serving the audience. Uh, you know, a core goal of, 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 of journalism is to serve the audience and to be able to be free to do that. But getting dumped is no career killer for Deatter, far from it. He's receiving overwhelming support online, including some American celebrities. Another branch of family has this big oil business, needs to be on the good side of the American president, one would think. Could that have played a role? Oh, that, that's the only thing that makes sense, really. As Deatter tries to block out the frenzy and do his job, there's interest from a growing number of new clients. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.